Hey guys, Jen Hillman here. Thanks so much for joining me today for this back pain relief video. I've designed this little flow to help you guys work out the kinks, reducing your low back pain, your neck and shoulder pain, even loosening up some of that hip pain that can come from sitting and driving and standing, all these things that can cause chronic pain in the back. So I wanted to offer you this special video to give you some simple stretches, some simple techniques that you can start to implement to start to relieve your back pain today. So go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to do a little yoga. So we're gonna start our practice today standing on the mat. Bring your feet parallel and just about hip width apart. So your heel bones are sinking down just below your sitting bones. Feeling the strength of your legs rooting down into the earth. Lift up out of your waist, growing tall through your spine and lifting up through the crown of your head. Even lift and tone your core, finding strength and engagement through your belly. And let's take a nice big inhale and stretch your arms up overhead. Lift your rib cage, reaching your fingertips to the sky. And as you exhale your breath, start to fold your body forward, coming all the way down over your legs and let your knees be soft here. So you don't have to keep your knees straight. In fact, if your hamstrings are very tight, I encourage you to bend your knees. Let your knees be soft as you fold, letting the weight of your upper body release. Let your head and neck and shoulders drop down towards the floor and just soften through your knees as much as you need. Then slowly, as your hamstrings start to loosen up, you can gently start to press those knees a little straighter. And if you wanna shift your weight side to side here, kind of swaying, making little figure eights with your hips, you could sway your upper body, or if you like to grab opposite elbows, you can do that here. Just taking a moment to move in your forward fold loosening up any areas that are just feeling tight and stuck. So we'll just take a couple more breaths here, folding forward over your legs. Then make your way back to center, coming back to neutral. Glide your hands up onto your knees. And again, you can let your knees be soft and relaxed. Then as you inhale, start to press through your arms, lifting your spine up. But try not to sink into your shoulders, rather glide your shoulder blades down your back, feeling a sense of your heart opening and your spine lifting, kind of curling up towards the sky. Scoop your belly up and in. Take one more inhale here, really lift your heart up. And as you exhale, release your body and fold it down. Then we'll move through that cycle two more times. Glide your hands to your knees. Inhale your breath, roll your shoulders down your back as you peel your heart up. Even think about reaching your tailbone back so you feel a little bit of an arch in your back. Lifting your heart, and then exhale and fold. Release your upper body down. One more time. Glide your hands to your knees. Inhale, roll your shoulders down your back. Open through your heart. And then exhale and fold, releasing your body down. <sighs> From here, interlace your hands at the base of your spine. Squeeze the palms of your hands together. 
Then start to stretch your hands up and away from your hips. Try your best to clasp your hands tightly together. This is gonna help you deepen that stretch, opening through your lats, through your chest, through your shoulders, releasing any tension through your upper back. Let your head relax. Now we're gonna take a little baby twist here. So shift your heart over your right leg. Try and press that right leg a little straighter as you roll your heart open to the right side. And gently make your way towards the left, twisting your heart to the left. Try and press that left knee a little bit straighter. And make your way back through center. <sighs> Slowly release your hands down. Release the grasp. And let your hands come down to the earth. Plant your palms firmly to the ground and let's step your feet back to a downward facing dog. So you'll have a nice wide stance on your mat. Make sure that your feet are not too close to your hands, but you have a nice long wide angle. Lifting your hips high towards the sky. Press your palms firmly into the mat. Extend your shoulders so your biceps come alongside your ears and you really feel a sense of opening through your chest. So here your heels may not come all the way down to the ground and that's fine. We want to feel that length through the spine and then start to stretch the heels towards the earth. On your next inhale, shift your body forward to a plank pose. Lengthen through your spine, open through your heart. Then exhale, draw your hips up and back, extending through your spine. Inhale, shift and come forward over your hands. Exhale, draw your hips up and back. One more time like this, let's inhale. Shift forward over your arms and hands. Then exhale, draw your hips up and back. Extend through your chest. Then let's lower your knees all the way down to the floor. Sink your hips back onto your heels and let your forehead release down towards the earth, taking a little child's pose here. Ah, releasing through your breath. Now, if you let your knees come a little bit closer together underneath you, it makes a, a little deeper stretch across the back of your spine as you fold forward over your legs. If you choose to separate your knees a little bit wider, you can start to sink deeper into your hips. So it's up to you what feels the most supportive as you take this child's pose for one more breath in and out. And let's come up onto your hands and knees little tabletop position here. We're going to take a twist in the spine. So as you inhale your breath, reach your right arm up towards the sky, taking a twist in your spine. Then exhale and weave your right arm underneath your left arm, bringing your right shoulder all the way to the ground. Reach your right fingertips as far to the left as you can. Press down through your left arm to help you rotate your spine a little bit deeper. Taking a nice twist here. On your next inhale, let's retrace your steps. Pressing yourself up, reach your right fingertips to the sky again and then release your right hand down and we'll prepare for the second side. 
Inhale, sweeping your left arm up, open through your chest. Then exhale and weave your left arm under, bringing your shoulder and even your head all the way down to the floor. Reach through your left fingertips and press through your right arm to roll your heart around, getting a nice deep stretch through the back of your shoulders, ah, through your rib cage and in your spine. And we'll slowly unwind, retracing our steps. Sweep your left arm up, open your heart, and release your left hand down. And we're gonna do one more little heart opener here. Walk your fingertips forward. Keep your hips stacking over your shoulders as you slowly start to melt your heart down towards the earth. So this is a pretty big chest opener and you might be wondering, what does that have to do with my back pain? That as we spend most of our time sitting at a desk or sitting in our car or sitting at the table, our chest tends to get very tight and it pulls the shoulders forward and that is one of the major contributors to that chronic neck and shoulder and upper back pain that we feel. So in order to reverse that pain, we've got to open up the chest. So take one more breath here and really let your shoulders stretch, let your chest stretch open. And start to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, all right? Sink your hips back down to a little child's pose. Glide your fingertips towards the front of your mat as you extend through your elbows, extend through your shoulders, sinking your hips back towards your heels. Then we're gonna take another little flow here. So lift your gaze up towards your hands. As you inhale, glide yourself forward all the way forward until the tops of your thighs come down, your elbows bend, your chest curls open, and bend your knees, bringing your toes towards your head. And then exhale your breath, press back to your child's pose. Inhale, come forward, rolling through your spine as you Come all the way forward, glide your shoulders down your back. And exhale, pressing yourself back to your child's pose. One more time, let's inhale, curling the heart forward, bending the knees. You can even bend your elbows as you draw your shoulders down your back. And exhale, press your hips back into that child's pose. Now tuck your toes underneath you. Let's press back up into that downward facing dog. Take another couple of breaths here. <sighs> From your down dog, just turn your gaze towards the right side, looking under your right arm. Feeling a nice stretch through your left side of your neck. Then turn your gaze to the left side, looking under that left arm, taking a nice stretch through the right side of your neck. Make your way back to center. And then we start to walk your feet forward, coming all the way to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Then go ahead and sink your hips down to the floor, coming all the way down. I'm gonna to come to a sitting position now, so I'll turn and face forward, so it's a little easier for you to see, but you can just stay where you are on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. This is a big hip opener. Uh, it's gonna to work to stretch and open up the outer hips, the glutes. Hold on to your ankles and roll your shoulders down your back. Inhale as you lift your heart up, stretch your chest open. 
Then exhale and fold your body all the way forward. So you can let your head release, let your shoulders round forward. Take a couple deep breaths here as you just soften and stretch into your hips. Ah, breathing your breath, let your hips release, let your knees continue to fall open to the sides. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. And slowly we rise all the way back up to your seat. And we'll round out our practice by taking a little twist here. So you can draw your left leg in a little closer. Step your right foot to the outside of your right thigh. Make sure that you ground your foot all the way down so it's not just hanging out sideways. We want to really plant the right foot down. Then reach your left arm across to hug your right knee. Bring your right fingertips to the earth behind you. Lift up tall through your spine as you twist your heart around to the right side. Keep hugging that right knee in towards your shoulder, giving you a nice deep stretch through your glutes and outer hips. Twisting, twisting, twisting. And then gently unwind, coming back through center. And we'll prepare for the second side. So change the cross of your legs, bringing the right leg in. Step your left foot to the outside of your right leg. Make sure you really plant that foot firmly. Then wrap your right arm around your left knee. Bring your left hand down behind you. Sit up nice and tall as you twist towards the left. Hug your knee in towards your armpit. That's gonna help you get a deeper stretch along the outside of your hip. So releasing tension through the glutes is another important aspect of relieving back pain. So it's important that we take this time to stretch out the hips as you twist. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Then gently release, coming back to center. And go ahead and take a moment to make your way onto your back. Ah, come reclining all the way onto your back and let your eyes close as you deepen into your breath. Let your feet fall out to the sides, letting your hips relax. Let your belly rise and fall with each breath. Open through your chest and your collarbones as you nestle your shoulder blades underneath you. Let your jaw relax. Let your brow relax. And just take this moment to feel the weight of your body melting into the earth, softening and releasing tension. And please feel free to stay in this resting position for as long as you have time. Allow your body to integrate, receiving the work that you've just done. Thank you so much for letting me guide you in this practice today. I hope that it is a blessing to you and helps to relieve that chronic back pain. Please come back and watch this video again. Or you're welcome to check out my Jen Hillman community page where I have lots more back pain relief videos 
and other videos to help improve your physical health and well-being. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.